Hi, I'm the Canadian cooking in the USA, eh? And now that it's March and things are warming up, I was thinking maybe I should make some iced tea, the kind Americans make. You know, the kind that the old so Southern kind of iced tea, but it's not iced, but only after you warm it up. Have you seen those? You cook them in the sun all day long and then you put it in the refrigerator. Well, I've been thinking, in fact, I've been thinking a lot. The more I sit on the outside patio here, you need to get yourself ready. It's spring, it's starting to get warm. So today I'm going to make a batch of iced tea, only hot, in a jar. I'm going to use a solar jar to make iced tea, the old fashioned way with a Canadian twist just like my nanny me with her red rose tea. Let's go inside and I'll show you what that's going to look like and then we'll come back out. Boy, it's a nice hot day already. It's gotta be in the 80s soon. Okay, so we're back inside and it's much cooler. Here's the recipe my nanny used to make when she would have a tea on the stove and it was very standard without too much variation at all. And it simply consisted of two bags of premium orange pico tea, two bags of red rose, and two bags of tetley. Now it had to be that, or it just didn't taste right. So we are simulating that with an American kind of version of an iced tea. Now I've tried this twice now, and the first time was so-so. So this time I made a little bit of variation, so it is even better. We're also going to be using dun, 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 cranberry mango juice. Why fiddle around with sweeteners and sugar when this already tastes sweet as it is. So I'm using this plus my tea bag recipe. We are using a solar or a sun tea jar. This jar has a volume of one gallon. However, if you turn the jar around and you look for where exactly is that marker on it, they don't have one. So. I've had to do some measuring how much things are. Now, one gallon is pretty close to four liters. So I'm using one full cran mango jug of juice. This is three liters right there. And I'm going to add an additional volume, according to the markings on my kettle, the extra one liter. I'm going to put those into this jar and then I will add my tea bags. Then I'm going to take this outside. This is going to be fun. We're going to fill this now with our juice. So that's three liters juice. Whoop. Okay, so to make Nanny's good tea, we need two bags of the lovely premium orange pico, two bags of red rose tea. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want strings in my tea and I don't want to taste strings either. So I just went ahead and cut those off. So here's the two bags of red rose and two bags of Tetley. These are going in right now. One, two, one, two, one, two. And we're gonna sprinkle some kisses. Put some love on there. I'm gonna put the lid on and let's take this outside. Of course, you should give the bags a little bit of a poke so they get wet. Then put the lid on. There, just like that. There. 
There we go. Now we'll put the lid on and take it outside. There, the tea is on. And now we wait. There, the tea is on. While we're waiting, if you like my channel, maybe consider liking. Maybe can subscribe. Maybe consider sharing it. That would really help. Tea won't be ready for a while. At least two, maybe three hours. So I'm just going to chill out a little. Enjoy the sun. It's a lovely day in March. Also coming up in another show, I'll show you how my little marchy mellows turned out. Be right back. <sighs> okay, it's definitely warmer out now. I thought I'd check on the tea. Give the little bags a press. Get all that goodness out. Yes, I think it's even getting a little darker now, too. Yum. Going to be a good day today, too. Mmm, solar tea. Just make sure you remove all the baggies. Mmm. And there you have it. Solar or sun tea. I have taken out the tea bags and I'm going to have a drink. Mmm, good. You can have this warm while it's still warm or with a little ice. Cheers. Happy March, everyone. Until next time, do take care. Au revoir.